Hey guys, Spider Games here. In this video, I'm going to show you another method for farming gold weapons in the following DLC. This method involves farming them off of the water towers, windmills, and the red power transformer tower things. Don't know what they're actually called. But starting from the first safe zone that you ever find when you start up the following for the first time, we're going to go a couple blocks down the road to a safe zone located on a freeway going over some train tracks. So I'm going to show you real quick what it looks like in the buggy and just how to get there just to help you out. But uh, when you first come here, you're going to need a grapple hook or you're going to need to climb some of those uh, catwalks just to get up here. But this is the only safe zone where you find that vendor who sells buggy parts and the components for building buggy parts but we're gonna be farming our weapons off of the tower I just showed you go to sleep we're gonna be farming at night this is the only time I've ever found gold weapons was at night and on hard or nightmare difficulty um, I heard that beforehand so others have discovered it first and I can speak to you from experience that I've only found gold weapons at night and on hard or nightmare but since uh, that's not a weapon that we want, we're going to go ahead and not pick it up. Do not pick up the weapon or else it will not respawn. Make sure uh, you go to sleep and then when you sleep again, the weapon will respawn a different weapon. It will be different every time. As long as you don't pick it up though. If you do pick it up when you go to sleep, when you come back to check, uh, there won't be a weapon there. To tell you the truth, I've never found a gold weapon at that spot yet. But we're going to go ahead and go down south and pretend like we already found a weapon and picked it up. So let's pretend like we found a weapon, picked it up that we wanted. We can't use that spot no more. Watch my mini map and we're going to go right down south here to a farmhouse. Now at this farmhouse, there are two spots we can farm. There's a windmill and a water tower a little further out. I'm going to show you before we go to bed during the day, just so it's easier to understand where they're at exactly. But here's the windmill I was telling you about and if we step over here and look on the other side of the barn in the distance You can see the water tower that we're gonna be farming gold weapons off of now Let's go ahead and hop the gate hop this life for no reason at all now. We're gonna Welcome Bust there. through this door tell that guy to fuck himself and then go sleep in his bed right after doing that All right, make sure you do that. It's important. All right now. It's night time This is the time that you want to farm for gold weapons so just make sure that it's nighttime I'm telling you I've never found them during the day and I already had people tell me you will not find them during the day and I believe them that's including the Harlock chest and police fans too I've never found them during the day but since that's not a gold weapon or any weapon that we want at all we're gonna move on to the water tower now make sure you don't get any like scuffles with uh, the zombies or anything that just takes up time you can outrun anything even the volatiles when they spot you just run away from them grapple up you know and uh, if you're having to climb these though you're gonna have a harder time if you have to climb you don't have a grapple hook uh, if you can, I suggest you use cloak or something because the volatiles are just going to spit on you like three times while you're climbing that water tower and you're going to die pretty much instantly. But uh, yeah, just, you know, don't fight any zombies. Just run past them. And it's real simple. You know, we're going to be farming for a while. It takes a long time to farm for these weapons, by the way. So you don't want to be wasting any time. We're going to go back to sleep, and by sleeping, we're changing the weapon. It's going to change the weapon to a different weapon entirely. Uh, that's only possible if you do not pick up the weapon, though. After you pick up the weapon, that particular spot ain't going to work. Like, if we pick up the weapon here off the water tower, uh, we're not going to see any weapon spawn at the water tower for a very long time. I've seen them spawn between five minutes, it seems like, to, like, hours later. I've gone off into the following and done other things and they never spawn but moving on to the next spot we're gonna go uh, we're gonna take this spot here this little bridge and we're gonna go down to this safe zone located down south just a little ways but I want to show you just it's a little confusing because if you've never done this uh, it, it's a little it's a bit of a bitch trying to find your way uh, down this beach here into this bridge it's that simple I went the wrong way before so I'm gonna go ahead and show you just to make it easier on you but uh, after you pass uh, that asshole that was spitting on us, we're going to go ahead and not hit as many trees as we can and rocks. And uh, we're going to come up to the water tower. We're going to be farming that water tower. I'm going to show you why that water tower is so special in a second. But uh, there's also that windmill there. I do not farm it in this video because we already know to farm it. Just make sure you farm that one. And uh, the whole reason why that's special... Hold on one second. Bust through this! Fuck you! Sleep with your wife in your bed. Ha! Alright, anyways. 
Make sure you do that. Increases your chances of getting gold weapons. Not really. I don't know. Maybe it's lucky. But the reason why this water tower is so special is because the weapon that we're looking for is going to be found inside the cylinder itself. Not on the edges like before. So make sure you go inside the cylinder. If you're checking on the outside, you're wrong because there's no weapon out there. So uh, just make sure when you're at the safe zone to check on the inside and not the outside. But uh, yeah, that's it. Nighttime. Make sure you're on uh, hard or nightmare. And you won't find weapons or gold weapons anyways during the day or on normal. But uh, it's that easy, guys. Now, there are plenty of other spots you can be farming. There's other um, safe zones with water towers and windmills located. But these are the ones that I found that are closest anyways. Uh, thanks to B4 Reckless and PNC Blunts for helping me out with that. But in the next video, I'm going to show you uh, farming GRE boxes or chests in the quarantine zones located in the slums and Old Town. Now, this one in particular is located in Old Town, so... If you're not subscribed already, uh, you don't have to subscribe, but I encourage you to, and I'm going to be working on this series for a while. This is just the next video in the series. I'm going to be showing you police fans in Harlock Chess in the slums and Old Town in case you don't have the following. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope this was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it, and as always, I will see you in the next video.